Hello, I'm Eleni, and this is an overview of our demo paper, which is about providing multi backend support for zonal statistics. Recent advances in satellite technology have led to a rapid growth in satellite data archives, reaching the order of petabytes. This wealth of satellite data offers a unique opportunity for significant impact in many applications, such as climate change and agricultural monitoring. In these applications, extracting meaningful features from satellite data often involves performing an operation called zonal statistics. On a high level, zonal statistics groups image pixels in different zones and calculates statistics for each zone. In our example here, we have two input datasets, a set of regions obtained from a governmental agency and a satellite image. As shown in steps three and four, Zonal Statistics performs a join operation to group image pixels according to their region, and then in step five, it calculates some aggregates for each region, like the count of pixels and the average of the pixels' values. The result is a statistics table, which can then be used to train an ML algorithm. Users trying to implement Zonal Statistics today are confronted with a jungle of different systems with different interfaces, requirements, and capabilities. So their question is, what is the right system for my workload at hand? Not only this question is hard to answer, but even when users end up picking a system, their chosen system might be suboptimal in the future when the workload changes. This is where Raven comes in. Put very briefly, Raven is a framework that abstracts zonal statistics tasks and enables their unified execution across multiple spatial systems. This liberates users from relying on a single system and empowers them to choose the best system for their given task every time. Next, Geron will show you an overview of Raven's demo. Hi, I'm Geron, and now I'm going to show you how we integrated Raven as a plugin into QGIS, a popular geographic information system. So, in our scenario, we have a data scientist supporting a farming organization. Thus, here for our example, we will use two existing datasets. First, a vector dataset containing plots of lands as polygons. We got this dataset from the government. Second, a raster dataset containing normalized difference vegetation index values. We computed this from a Sentinel 2A image. Raven now allows us to compute the zonal statistics we need for our scenario easily. The Raven UI is divided into three parts. First, a zonal statistics part where we set up everything necessary to complete the zonal statistics run. Here, the two datasets have been already made available by QTIS, and now we can select a grouping attribute as well as some predicates for the vector dataset. We can also select the aggregation functions that shall be included in our query and the system that the query shall be executed on. Then there's some processing parameters which allow the user to control the pipeline flow. For example, we can define whether Raven should apply filtering conditions before loading the data into the system or whether to perform them during execution. And we can also, for example, set the system internal tile size, which is important for some systems. Then there's also general parameters, which I'm gonna skip for this video. Based on our parameters, we can now take a look at the query plan, which is based on the internal representation of Raven and which we can execute by clicking on OK. After Raven has finished, we can see the computer zonal statistics in the main window of QJS, where a new layer has been added. In this case, we see the average value per plot of land encoded in a 10-step gradient. We can also see the results in more detail in the attribute view of QJS. We can also use Raven to compare different systems and configurations against each other. To do this, we again open the Raven UI. Now we select that we want to test Beast, PostGIS, and Rasterman, as well as applying the filter during preprocess and execution. Raven now automatically switches over into comparison mode as multiple parameter combinations are chosen. We can now see that Raven has created multiple query plans, one for each system and conflicting parameter. Finally, we can now take a look at the results of the benchmark, in this case of a run we previously recorded. In the viewer, we first see just the end-to-end -end runtime for the different systems. Here we can see that Rasterman completed the query the fastest, with PostGIS being about 15% slower and Beast taking about double the time than the others. If we are now interested in more details, we can take a look into the phase breakdown. Here we can observe first that all the systems took about the same time for preprocessing. Regarding differences, we can see that in said previous run, Rasterman took way longer for executing the query, while PostGIS spent more time on ingesting the data. 
For Beast, we can see that it spends most of the time in the execution phase and it ingests the data while executing the query. So in conclusion, we've shown you Raven, a tool for computing zonal statistics easily. You can visit us at Sigma 2024, where we'll show you Raven in the demo sessions on June 11th and June 13th at 3 p.m. each. Also, check out our source code, which you can find on GitHub as part of the PolyDBMS project under github.com slash polydbms slash raven.